Hi guys, me again. And I was supposed to do my Dreamcast games with my PS1 games, but I thought I'd do two videos instead of one. And here it goes. It's my Dreamcast games aren't amazing. I got I actually got all these for free when I bought a console. The console came with a bundle of games. And these are just some of these titles I've probably never even played and some titles are quite weird. But nonetheless <laughs> is my Dreamcast game. There's some of them are loose. There's Trick Style, which looks like a like an airboarding game. Looks airboarding kind of thing, by the colour. I haven't played this and I'll probably get around to playing it, see what it's like. And some games I bought because I love them. <laughs> and one of them is Resident Evil Call of Monica. Probably one of the best Resident Evil games. I know a lot of people will say they don't like it, and I know a lot of people will say they do like it. And I thought it was a really good game. It really took the game back to its roots. And I enjoyed it, even though Steve Burnside is kind of annoying at times. But other than that, it's such a great game, really great story, and I love how Chris Redfield makes an appearance towards the end. Next is a game I got for free, in a two for free, at uh, Chips, and it's Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Probably, probably the second best, because I really love number three. Number three is such a great game, but this one's such a great game as well. The first one was good, but not as good as the rest, which is kind of weird because usually sequels kind of get worse, but with a fighting games, sometimes they get better. And this is probably one of the best ones, fighting games that were around at the time. Really great game. Next is Street Fighter Third Strike. Really, really great Street Fighter game. Recently bought this on Xbox Live Arcade, and it's such a great game. A great setting. It's actually based after four. As you notice with Ryu, he looks older, and Ken looks way older. And it is, it's, it's a great game. Great fighting game. Next is. Star Wars Demolition, I haven't actually played this. I'm guessing you go around to the mech and destroy stuff. <laughs> yeah, it actually says in the cover totally vehicular carnage in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> but I haven't played that yet. Next is Speed Devils Online Racing. I have no idea if it's got a single player. But <laughs> probably hasn't because it's about what I'm hurting, but I haven't actually played this and I'll probably give it a shot. God, I need to set my dream class back up. Ready to Rumble, actually, I played this on PS1. I thought it was quite a funny style boxing game. The second one, I didn't think much of the second one, but this one's a great game. Next is Dragon's Blood, which I understand it says it's hack and slash on the back, but it looks it looks kind of like an RPG style medieval time, probably dungeon crawler, hope possibly. I haven't actually played this, but I'm just guessing by the back. Next is Shadow Man, thought this was quite decent, I've only ever played it on the PS1 and I thought it was decent, the levels were kind of cool, the character was quite cool and the weird power, powers that he had, kind of kind of a strange game. Next up is Street Fighter, no, sorry, Virtua Fighter 3, Virtua Fighter 3 and Virtual Tennis but I'm play I played Virtual Fighter like I said I'm not really that into Virtual Fighter 
and so yes I have played virtual tennis and I quite enjoyed it I thought it was quite a decent tennis game next is Street Fighter 3 Double Impact which is Street Fighter 3 New Generation and Street Fighter 3 Second Impact and I actually really love these games even though people say Third Strike is the holy grail of the Street Fighter 3 series but I actually I actually enjoyed these quite a lot I'd say they're all quite equal next up is a game that a lot of people love but I wasn't really that fond of it and it's Toy Story 2 and I wasn't really that fond of it to be honest Next up is possibly one of my favourite favourite games on Dreamcast and the case kind of fell open. It's a bit weird. <laughs> no, that's why the case is a bit no no no, it's not broken. That's kinda of weird. Just that video. I really thought it was a really great kind of graffiti style roller skating game <laughs> but yeah I thought it was a really decent game and I had a lot of fun playing that game next up is Sonic Adventure possibly the best 3D Sonic game to come out and number two was okay but not as good I thought but Sonic Adventure really cool game the only thing I've got to say about this game what I don't like is sometimes the camera angle can be a bit awkward but other than that it's it's a really cool game next is Hidden and Dangerous I don't think I've played this game looking by the back of it I probably haven't and it's another one of those games that I got for free so <laughs> might have to check into it sometime Next is Metro Metropolis Street Racer and I actually thought this was quite a decent racing game on the Dreamcast. Probably doesn't beat Sega Rally <laughs> or the other racing games but I actually thought it was quite a cool game. Next up is I didn't actually realise I had this on Dreamcast <laughs> and it's to made the last revelation. I've I'm not gonna lie, I've never played this one. I've only played one to three on the PS one and I didn't I well I played a bit of them. I watched others playing the most but yeah <laughs> Tomb Raider. Not really a big fan of the Tomb Raider series. Like I said Legend is probably the only only Tomb Raider I actually enjoyed, so yeah, I'm a bit out of it today. But other than that, that's all my Dreamcast games. I can't see any more laying around. But that's yep, that's it. And I'll probably get around to doing an Xbox original, Xbox original, yeah, Xbox original and a uh, portable games video. But other than that, thanks, thanks guys for watching and until next time guys, bye.